Hello again, Steve here with a few thoughts. I was just out for a little ride. Found a little bit of shade for a reprieve. It's over 30 degrees in the park here. Look at this pretty little park. It's found, I found a little crutch in a tree to have a seat and say a few words because something just crossed my mind and I forgot to bring a pen with me. So I said, well, better before I write it down. Before I forget what it is and have no way to write it down, I'll just record it this way. Oh, there's ants joining me. Probably get a few of them on my back. Anyway, yeah, um, I was thinking, I forget what I, how it came to me, but it's a while earlier, I was thinking about money. And, of course, many of us think about money from time to time, right? And I was thinking, you know, a lot of times we, we human beings use the excuse of money. And I have many, many times, you know, if only I had blah, 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 100,000 or a million or whatever right now for this or whatever. And I think sometimes it's a crutch, a bit of a crutch. If we really want something, the question is, why don't we do it now? Or why don't we get it going now? Why don't we get it started now, right? So I know somebody, for example, and her common theme is, I just don't have enough money. And I think sometimes that's a crutch or it's an excuse. You know, we all have excuses, right? It's an excuse. For what we do have uh, it sort of shields it's like a shadow that prevents us from seeing what we do have i think what we do have we all have to an extent to a great extent is ability to develop uh, our skill sets and our our social capital our human interactions our connections our ties right and you know our skill sets that might be like individual capital and our networks of people who we've done favors for and helped and so on is kind of like our social capital and in a way that's kind of like money I guess because money if we think about it what money is is a store up of our efforts right unless we've stolen something of course but generally speaking you know if, if you do if you come over to my place and you build a deck for me on my back backyard and then I pay you for that then you have a stored equity in what the labor that you've done it's we call that money right well I'm thinking if we were to study and to learn something and practice and develop a skill then what we have within us that ability is like a stored up reservoir of knowledge and capabilities based on what we've done the same way that we have a store up of cash based on having built the deck, right? And the same goes for building our net networks and building our communities and keeping in contact with people and being friends with people and helping people. Because of all those actions, we build up a store of goodwill. In fact, even in business, when a business is sold and they calculate the value of the business, it's the, you know, the lease rate or the building if it's being sold and the machinery and the stores and everything. And then what they call goodwill. Goodwill is that, on average, 10 people walk into the building before 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever and buy something. So that's goodwill. That's something that wouldn't be there if you just started it up, right? And it's worth something. It's, it's evaluated, right? So I think that sometimes, a lot of times, uh, the excuse of not having enough money holds us back. And not to mention, of course, that for any good idea properly presented, if it in fact is a good idea, there's always lots of money for it. You know, I know of a guy who's got lots of money, and when he sees a good opportunity, he puts lots of money into it, if he's an investor. And so, you know, a lot of times it seems like money is is like a is a way of shielding us ourselves from our own responsibilities if we just and that's probably why people who win lotteries for the most part don't really change and in a few years lose it all because they haven't developed the skills that would be necessary to acquire that in any other way so it's like the thermostat on the on the building right um, on our room if it's minus 30 outside 
and the, and the temperature is set at 20, it'll be 20 degrees inside. We open the door for a while, it'll go down to minus 20. We close the door again, eventually it'll go back to 20 because that's where, our, that's where the set point is. It'll go back to that. I think the same with those of us who would say, oh, I wish I had this money, wish I had this money, wish I had this money. Well, if we're not actually changing ourselves, we're not changing the, the set point, the thermostat. And one of the ways I think we can change the thermostat at the same time building up other forms of valuable equity, probably yeah, the foundational equity is in working on ourselves individually and working on ourselves in terms of our contacts and who we get to know and who we do do well for, the goodwill we put out there. Just some thoughts on uh, improving the quality of our life experiences because I think we can get going with life even though we don't think we have the money for it. Because in reality, we do have the abilities that are required to make that real value, I would think. Great chatting again, and I keep going on my ride here, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Goodbye.